Hey, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. Um, in uh, Ruckus ICX 8095 and higher, uh, Ruckus changed the way I, uh, ACLs are built and the way ACLs are applied to the ICX. So in previous versions, um, the uh, ACL was applied to either to the interface or uh, if it was a VLAN base, then you'd apply it to the VE, and that would affect the routing between the, the VLANs, etc. cetera. Um, in 8095, uh, the, the, the uh, ACL can be applied to the VLAN itself, not to the VE, and or to the uh, physical interface. Um, uh, so you can do both of those together for the first time. And so I think it's important to understand the order of operations, how those ACLs get applied, and in in which direction do they take effect. So let's have a look at that. So uh, really, uh, number one, so if the user applied ACL at an inter is applied at the interface level as well as the VLAN level uh, that the interface is part of, then um, the one applied to the interface will take precedence. So we'll look at this in a little bit more detail in the next couple of slides. But um, number two, if the ACL is applied at the interface level does not have any filters, then the ACL applied at the VLAN level will take effect. And number three, if the ACLs applied at the interface level and at the VLAN level are of different types. So one is a V4 ACL and one is a V6 ACL uh, or vice versa, then both will take effect because they don't overlap. All right, so, so the first rule. So if the user applied ACL at, a, at an interface level as well as the VLAN that the interface is part of, then the one applied at the interface level will take precedence. So here you can see that um, on the physical interface, on 112, we've applied an, uh, uh, an ACL called block others in, so it's inbound. Uh, and then on the VLAN level, so on the VLAN, not the VE in 8095, um, they, we've applied a different ACL called block some in. So because they're both applied, the physical interface takes precedence. Now, that's assuming, again, that there's actually some statements in that ACL, right? So there's actually something going on in that ACL, then it takes precedence. If not, then number two applies. So if the ACL is applied at the interface level does not have any filters in it, so if it's a blank ACL, then the one uh, at the VLAN level takes effect, right? So, you know, I called this blank ACL in, but basically I'm just trying to illustrate that if it's if there's nothing in that ACL, then the VLAN one takes precedence, right? And will take effect. And number three, lastly, uh, if the ACL applied to the interface and a different ACL is applied to the VLAN level, are different type than both of them under, uh, apply, right? So neither one of them takes precedence. So in this case, we've got an IPv4 ACL on the physical interface and an IPv6 ACL on the VLAN. Uh, so in this case, they're actually both going to take effect. So there's no overlap there. Um, but yeah, that's that's the basics of it. So I just, uh, there was some misunderstanding about um, which took precedence uh, if it was applied to both because you haven't been able to do this before in the past. So this is new and, and uh, we needed a clear understanding of how that gets done. Um, there's also uh, a different video on um, how ACLs get applied in the new system. So inbound or outbound on the, on the VLAN or the interface. So uh, you may want to uh, have a look at that as well. It explains um, uh, the, the, the direction and what you would expect from those. But that's it for today. Uh, so hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a great day. Thanks very much.